Hi everyone, welcome to It's Your Life, Your Way. I'm Jeanette Larson, your host from Growth Unlimited, and today we're going to be talking about how to become self-actualized. Self-actualization is a process that provides the framework and guidelines that we use in psychology to define a person's ability to function effectively. It's based on a theory that was presented in the 1940s by American psychologist Abraham Maslow. Dr. Maslow had been studying motivation, that is, the science of why people choose to do what it is that they choose to do, and also why some people seem to be uh, effective in being able to be what we in society call successful, and other people struggle and sometimes fail. Um, his theory, when it was published, said that success in becoming self-actualized in life was based on our ability and willingness to do what is needed to get our needs met. He placed these needs on a visual hierarchy now known as Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, with what he believed were the most basic needs placed at the base of the pyramid. In his theory, he stated that people began working at the pyramid base and moved upward along the pyramid to eventually reach its pinnacle as they gained the skills necessary to meet the needs at each level. At the very top of the pyramid was the goal self-actualization and Maslow believed that when people reach this level of the pyramid they are able to meet their full potential. Let's examine the levels on the pyramid to define what they mean. The bottom level is the most basic needs, the physiological needs. These include things like warmth, clothing, food, and water. Maslow believed that these basic needs included things like housing or shelter and of course something to eat and drink and something to clothe our bodies with. The next level up on the pyramid is that of safety and security. This is the level that Maslow believed people tried to gain the ability to feel safe from harm. It is one of the things that he postulated that people in the early days of creation were more focused on than we are in modern day society because the risk of being attacked and hurt by a dinosaur, a saber-toothed tiger, whatever like that was more uh, possible at that point in time than what we generally run into in modern day society. Some people would argue that. The next level up is love and longing. This is having the esteem of other people and connecting with people. Uh, no man is an island, as a popular song stated several years ago, and we all need connections with other people to be able to survive and be happy in our lives. The next level is esteem, and this has to do with how you feel about yourself, whether you believe you're a good person, whether you believe that you are an effective person. This is also something in order to achieve self-actualization you need to be able to have. And then the top level, of course, is the point where you are self-actualized, where you are able to meet the potential that you were given by God. Dr. Maslow believed that I, the activities on the pyramid were hierarchical in nature and that they were linear that you had to start at the bottom of the pyramid and work up. Over the ensuing years since he presented this theory, uh, other psychologists have argued this because as our, uh, his, his ideas were very, very basic and although we, have, we agree that they were very, very true, uh, there are other things that go into the process that create complications and we actually believe now that uh, people develop on the different levels of the pyramid at different times in their life. Plus, you can go backwards and forwards on that pyramid in the process of your development based on your individual needs. So, uh, it's, it has become more complicated, which makes it a little more difficult to understand. But, uh, the basis of the, of Abraham Maslow's theory is still considered 
very, very effective in terms of helping people grow and change their lives so that they can take control of them. And that's what our purpose is here. We're going to be using some of the concepts in Abraham Maslow's theory to uh, provide the framework of what we do in, in terms of helping uh, each person on their journey towards taking control of their lives. Uh, in our next presentation, because I, I'm trying to keep these short enough that it's easy time-wise for everyone to be able to watch them and stay in touch as they move forward gradually, we're going to be talking about some specific things that you can do in conjunct uh, using Maslow's theory in conjunction with some of the other theories that we've discussed to uh, actually do things that are productive and effective in taking control of areas of your life. And uh, so I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Uh, I invite you, if you found this video useful, to subscribe to our YouTube station. That way you're going to be able to receive notification of additional content as we produce it. We also invite you to join us at the Growth University uh, for additional training to help you on your personal path towards taking control of your life and also to have the input and support of an online community who is dedicated to working towards achieving their own goals in this respect. I Once again, it's something that I, I know a lot of people use social media in order to try to connect with people to make their lives improve. Lots of times from what I have found myself and also what I've had other people tell me, uh, that's not always the most effective way to go. And the Growth University allows a forum that is su more supportive and more focused because everybody is focusing on the same direction in terms of how they want to deal with their life. And so it, uh, at present it's free to join and you can try out the different things that are offered so that you can decide whether it's something that's effective in the process that you're undertaking. I invite you to join. I will include the link to the Growth University in the area below the video so that you can check it out. And as I said, at this point it's free. So it's a, a chance for you to see just exactly what it is you can do to make your life what you want it to be. Thanks for joining and like this uh, and share it with your friends. Invite people to join us here on It's Your Life, Your Way. Thanks so much. I'll